CRT is not even in the bill, but it has hurt a black charter school in Texas. This is part of the intent of the bill. So let me highlight what has happened to Essence Preparatory Charter School. Let's put up a graphic of the school. Let me explain how this went down. This school is designed with its predominantly black and brown students in mind. We want to create a space where black and brown students will not only be stable but can thrive, said the school's CEO and founder, Akeem Brown, who's 29 years of age. Let's put up a picture of Mr. Brown. That's a smart guy, has the right idea, wants to create safe spaces for our young children to succeed. Brown says opening his own school has always been a dream of his. And in January 2021, his dream was coming close to a reality when he submitted the application to the Texas Education Agency, T, for final approval. Everything was going as planned. But they were caught in the middle of an ongoing debate surrounding critical race theory. I think this is a good point for me to say what I always say, critical race theory is not taught in K through 12 education. Critical race theory is not part of the curriculum whatsoever. It is an advanced theoretical framework designed for teaching at advanced collegiate levels, including law schools, not taught in K through 12 education. The purpose of these anti CRT bills was to simply stop the teaching of actual history as it relates to America's racism. That was the idea and that idea is working. Uh, Brown said in an interview with Atlanta Black Star, he said, and I quote, I think we got caught in it because of the color of my skin, because of the color of the individuals who make up my board. My board is 65% African American. We aim to serve about 40% black children in our community. Brown said, explaining why he feels his application triggered the T flag, which is the Texas Education Agency. They flagged his application for further review, citing concerns related to what? CRT. Once again, critical race theory is not even in the legislation passed by the state of Texas that did not stop the agency from saying this is related to concerns about critical race theory. (laughs) You can't make this up. The agency wanted Brown to remove anti-racist text within the school's equity statement. They asked us to remove the word anti-racist, what? And they asked us to remove any words from that author, Brown said. The agency also wanted Brown to clarify his meaning of phrases like public policy driven approach, public policy advocacy program, and community actions. Brown admitted he treaded carefully to avoid his application being rejected. I don't think it mattered what I responded with. So unfortunately, I sucked up my pride and took away what we believe to be bold commitments to launching a school in our community. He had to compromise. He felt he needed to compromise. None of these books are controversial. Anti-racism means you're against racism. Why in the world would something saying that I'm anti-racist be a problem unless the board that regulates you is pro-racism? You see how that works? That's the only way you would have an issue with anti-racist curriculum or the terminology public policy advocacy program. They literally told him you have to provide additional clarity to public policy driven approaches. What? You have to provide clarity to a board for that. Brown admits he shed tears throughout the approval process, but the application was finally approved after the compromises by the State Board of Education. That was their intent. After being caught in the controversial CRT debate, Brown says what kept him and his team motivated were the 360 students and their parents who are relying on Essence Preparatory to open. The school is expected to open August 15th. Let me give some, let me give a word of advice to the teachers and administrators. I know there's a rule in Texas. There's a new law basically prohibiting you with a public charter from teaching actual history. Break the law, break it, do it, teach history, teach the truth. People like me got your back. 
not only through platform and commentary, but I will help you financially. And many people would do the exact same, but somebody, some school teacher, some school is going to have to stand up to this foolishness and buck the damn system. That's my advice. All right, um, Ida, thoughts? I mean, oh, Texas never fails to entertain from Ted Cruz to sundown town, sundown towns. We just are constantly getting the uh, the juice and the tea from uh, Texas. You know, I, I always say um, I'm one of those people that feels like integration is the worst thing that happened to my ancestors. <laughs> um, but then you think about the fact that black people in this country and black people in other places that were trying to build things after being free, their stuff was pounced on and destroyed by envious white people who also were mediocre. And I just think about all of the stuff that's happening that we've covered on the on the show today, the white nationalists, you know, all of this stuff is happening, but they won't leave us alone, right? They won't leave us alone. They won't let us be. And that's what I'm I'm bothered with. I you you say you don't want to be around me. I don't want to be around white people that don't that don't like me. I appreciate you telling me that you don't want to be around me. What I have a problem with you is you trying to take the spoon out of my mouth when Mm -hmm. when I'm working for my own food. And that is the problem that I'm having with this. And it's just disheartening to see that now you want to erase history. You know how hard it was for us as children, me in particular, to have to think of myself that my ancestors sold themselves into slavery. That that was what was taught to me, right? Yep. But I, I never hear about the glorious people of my past. So to these people, I just say congratulations and I'm with you. Break the law because if we don't know history, we are bound to repeat it. That's right. And that's that's their idea on the other side. Uh, they want to keep you ignorant. You can't change what you fail to acknowledge. You can't change what you fail to know.